Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and today is day 94 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on doing at least two things every day that I don't want to do, but I know would be good for me. So yay for day 94 and only six more days to go. Hoi! Um, I wish I wrote on this months ago when I would be done with it. I um, was just looking at my videos and like day 89 got 41 views and then nobody's watching the rest of these because it took me five months to finish them. Um, don't blame people for not wanting to watch them. Just kind of disappointing to realize that I was growing an audience and I lost them all by not making my videos, um, by not doing the things that I didn't want to do, but I knew would be good for me. So learning, learning the hard way. That's what I do. I, I do. I learn the hard way about everything. So today I don't know what I did that I didn't want to do other than I'm awake right now and I should be in bed asleep and I made video <laughs> and I'm making videos. Um, but I, I did have, I did go to the grocery store. I went to Whole Foods today. I don't normally shop at Whole Foods. I usually go to like Winco or Walmart, go to the cheapest grocery stores. And today I probably went to one of the more expensive grocery stores just because it just kept popping into my head. And I thought maybe God is telling me I need to go check out Whole Foods just to see if I can find some like bread that I can eat or find some food that I can eat. And I love that going through Whole Foods, there was a whole bunch of stuff that I could eat. So I don't have to like make everything and prep everything. And I was like, yay, stuff that I can eat and bread that I can eat. But everything was so ridiculously priced and expensive and everything was organic which is nice and they only have paper bags and I usually get the plastic ones but I was like I haven't done paper bags in a really really long time so I'm like really nice store really nice stuff just really outside of my price range and I probably spent more than I would have spent if I'd gone shopping at Winco and probably only got about a week's worth of food and I needed two weeks worth of food and I'm like I don't have any more money and I could have got two weeks worth of food for less than what I spent for one week's worth of food at Whole Foods. So uh, I probably won't go shopping there again anytime soon, but good to know that they have stuff there. Like they had snacks and other things that I could just buy and eat. And some of them still just don't taste good because they just don't. Um, but it's worth a shot, worth a try. Oh, oh, sorry, <laughs> so tired. I should be in bed asleep right now. I, I really should be in bed asleep today. I tried to take a nap and that did not work out for me. So um, I ended up doing other things today. And I did talk to my friend that's going to be moving in with me and um, ask her where she wanted me to put my stuff in the room that we're going to be sharing um, the office type room where I should move my desk to because I wanted to move it and I know exactly where I want to put it and I know exactly what I want to do with my stuff but it's not where she has it and I know she's measured everything and she's mapped the whole thing out and I was like okay I'm just gonna go with her map I'm gonna go with her stuff even though it's not what I want um, I didn't move my stuff in there um, mostly because I'm just tired and I don't know my brain is kind of fuzzy and I just didn't have the motivation or the idea to do it today and also maybe because there's a little tiny bit of me that's just still very rebellious and just doesn't like it when other people tell me what to do or how to do things so I mean I was planning on doing stuff and moving things around and doing things and then of course my friend told me I needed to and then it's like yeah that's not gonna happen now you've completely destroyed my motivation and I know she didn't do that on purpose she doesn't know that does that to me and I know that she's trying to help me and be helpful and offering to do things. And there are things I need to do. So it's not like she's telling me something I don't already know. She's just reminding me that it needs to be done or she's offering to help by saying that if I do certain things, she'll do other things. So like if I get all the stuff out of the dresser that I want to get rid of, she'll get rid of it for me. So all I have to do is move my stuff out of the dresser, which sounds really easy, but I'm once like, five drawers full of clothes and I have to move them into a different dresser that also has like five or six drawers but also has stuff in it and then I have to go through all of that stuff and then I have to move all of that stuff because it's not where the dressers aren't where they're going to end up permanently so then I have to clean the floor and I have to dust them off and there's a whole lot more involved in just taking this stuff out so she can 
take it to the dump. And then of course I start thinking about that, but then I have to think about the whole process. I have to think about what's in every single drawer. What am I going to do with all the stuff in all the drawers? What am I going to do with the stuff that's on top of it? Where am I going to put the stuff? I got to clean the floor underneath of it before I clean the floor where I'm going to move the dresser to clean the floor after I move the dresser, move the dresser out of the bed, the one that I'm not going to keep out of there leave the one I'm going to keep in there. Then if I'm going to move my desk in there, I have to move all the stuff off my desk. I have to move all the stuff that's in the bedroom out of the way to where that desk is at. I'm like, there's just so many things to do. And then it gets kind of overwhelming and jumbled up in my brain. And and then my brain is like, no, this is not happening. <laughs> so it will happen. And it will happen before she moves in. It just may not happen this weekend. It might not happen until next weekend. But she's already like, I'm going to take this stuff to the storage and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm like, I still got a headache. It was actually worse this morning than it's been the last two days. I actually took more migraine medicine this morning and didn't have as much as I thought I had. I mean, I, I have the stuff that I got, the prescription stuff. I just don't have all the samples I thought I had. I'm like, I didn't know I used up all the samples. And it's possible I didn't use them all up, but it's possible that they're buried under stuff because I just pile things on top of things so that I just couldn't find them this morning and my head hurt too much. And I'm like, I'm not going through all my stuff to look for medicine. So I just was like, that's not happening either. So I... I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to breathe. And it's not that I want to be completely lazy and it's not that I want to stay up all night. It's just, I do have to work with my brain. I do have to work with what I'm willing to do. And I just kind of, I don't know, I was in a fog. I was fuzzy. And then I was like, okay, what am I going to do? I was thinking about doing laundry. I was waiting for a friend to call. Um, Because I messaged my Alan on J friend yesterday and I was wanting to talk. Well, I didn't how do I phrase this? I felt like God wanted me to message her that I needed to talk to her after I did my grief work before I put it in a video, put it into video yesterday anyway. Um, so I messaged her last night and I was like, I don't really want to talk to her at 9 30 at night because I got to get up this morning. I got to work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I was really actually relieved when she said she just wanted to talk to me today. And I was like, okay. So then I was concerned because I didn't want to go for a walk with my my friend that's going to move in with me because my Alan on J friend was supposed to call at the same time. I ended up going for the walk and talking to my Alan on J friend later, but I was waiting for her to call me or to message me back. I ended up just like doing my dishes. I'm like, I got to have something to do. So I just started doing my dishes and I figured that's something I could do while I was talking to her on the phone. And it didn't even register in my brain that I need to move my dressers and my desk and all the other stuff that I didn't want to do. Didn't really want to do my dishes either, but they needed to be done. So I just moved my dishes, put my clean dishes away and washed the dirty ones. I think I still have some dirty ones because I didn't finish washing them. And I was like, I don't really care. They'll be there tomorrow. Um, So (laughs) it was mostly just my glass water bottles and some jars and stuff that needed to soak because I didn't rinse them out. Then they got food stuck in them. So I washed the rest of them. Um, it's not that big of a deal. So I was like, okay, so there's things I didn't get done, but I'm learning once again to focus on the things I did get done. And I was like, yay, I did do something today. And so I'm excited about that. And I'm grateful that I did something. And I am grateful that I got to talk to my Alan on J friend because she's very good at pointing out the progress that I'm making and the positive things that I'm learning and the growth that I have, and I'm like, I don't always see it. And I see it a little bit more when I do these videos, but she sees it a lot more than I do. And I am grateful for her and for her support and for her reminding me of all of that. And so I just always feel better after I talk to her about things. Um, But it also brings up a lot of things. And it kind of reminds me of when I was going to counseling not that my Alan on J friend is a counselor. I'm not saying that, but when I was going to counseling, um, my counselor used to tell me that there was kind of like an overhang sometimes. Like there's like, I don't know how to describe it. My brain is too tired, (laughs) but it's kind of like when you do that, you go to counseling and you bring up all of these emotionals and all of these things. And sometimes it can be really exhausting. Sometimes it can be draining. Sometimes it just kind of lingers and it gets kind of, like it's sort of stuck and it, it takes a while for it to settle back down or for it to bubble up and just go away, like one of the two. And so you kind of get stuck in that emotional state if it doesn't get resolved at the end of the session. 
Um, so I know sometimes she said, you know, we left off at a certain place or we did this a certain time when I would go to counseling. And then she'd be like, are you sure you didn't have any like, you know, residue stuff hanging over that, you know, you had issues during the week, were you extra tired, didn't do this, didn't do that. And I was like, oh, and sometimes that was true. And other times I was like, nope, didn't even phase me. So um, I think today was one of those days where it was like I had I've had all of these emotional breakthroughs in just a few days. And sometimes it just takes a while for my body, I guess, to catch up to all of that. And maybe that's why I've got a little bit of a headache. I know that's why I'm tired because one, I'm actually sleeping, which is kind of nice, but I'm only sleeping for like five hours for like less time than I've been giving myself. Um, but it's dealing with all of the emotions is just exhausting in and of itself. But it's also, like I said, it's lightning and it's freeing. It's letting go of things and it's good because I need to let go of all these things. But it does take a lot of emotional energy, which sometimes requires physical energy without realizing it's mental energy and it can be just exhausting. And so even though it was great talking to my friend and it was great seeing all of these things, it just felt really sweet and wonderful and uplifting. I was kind of like, and that was a lot. And I don't really, I kind of, it just kind of left me like, um, I don't know, I guess stable. And I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, I don't really feel I need to get up and do anything. I don't have any extra energy, but I don't really feel tired and exhausted. And I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I didn't have a plan of what to do for the rest of my day. So unfortunately I did what I always do when I play on my phone. And then of course I got bored playing on my phone. I'm like, I need to actually do something. But I, yeah, I'm grateful my battery died on me really. Cause I think I would have still been on my phone <laughs> because I was just kind of like, I don't know what to do at this point. Because like I said, I didn't have a plan and I was really tired and I wasn't feeling well. And I was like, I have other things I need to do. And I just kind of got stuck where I was at. Um, so now it's 1130 at night, which I did not want it to be for me to be making my videos. Um, but I am still making my videos. I am still trying. And just before I sat down to make my videos, I was praying and I was just like, this isn't working. And then I had this thought that like change takes time. It, change doesn't happen overnight. And God is reminding me my changes aren't going to happen overnight. And some changes the only way to make them be permanent is to consistently work at them and to do that. And sometimes, like I said, I've got my default settings and I just go back to what I grew up with. I go back to what I was taught originally and I have to make a conscious effort to not do that. And I don't always make that conscious effort to not do that. And if I'm not making a conscious effort to not do my default settings, my default settings just take over. So like today, I didn't make a conscious effort to not fall to my default settings and they just took over. So I was like, and then I was disappointed, but I'm grateful that God reminded me that change takes time. And at least I'm still doing things that I committed myself to do. I'm still making my videos. I still wrote in my journal tonight. I'm still doing things that I don't necessarily want to do that are, that are hard for me to do. And I'm still trying to improve myself. And so I am, I'm grateful that I can do that and I'm grateful for friends and family that are supporting me and doing all of this and hopefully this is helpful to anyone watching it or entertaining to anyone watching it and maybe if you want you can try doing things at home yourself that you don't want to do that you know would be good for you and you can journal about it share it with someone or make videos of your own um, just to kind of keep track of your progress. And maybe for some of you, this is a whole lot easier to do. But for me, it is it is not. <laughs> it's just, it is not. But I know that with God's help, it is doable. So I am determined to do it for at least six more days. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have for my videos tonight. And thank you for listening to me and for letting me ramble. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe find a one or two things to do that you don't want to do, but you think would be good for you.